What's up guys, it's Hamburger Head, and this is a video I've been wanting to record and wanting to post for a very long time, but as with many people, I am lazy. This is a one-of-a-kind vacuum engine that I have built, and it's very special indeed. I am lacking on commentary. This is a Lego vacuum engine, four-cylinder, first-of-its-kind, single overhead cam. Now, the throttle is not on the engine because it barely runs that well with it off. So, for right now, it's just those two pegs where the throttle mounts, but it will be mounted eventually. This is the timing chain cover, which will be taken off so it can run at its best, as well as our little valve cover here. Got four pistons. The firing order is one, three, two, four. Now if we open up this box here, which I have levered, there is the camshaft. And I'll take timing chain cover off. There is the overhead cam. I will not lie to you guys, this is a pure, first of its kind, Lego four-cylinder overhead cam. Some people have built single or dual overhead cam, one cylinders, two cylinders, or three. There's been claims that there's been four cylinders, but they have not shown visual proof. The camshaft ends right there, goes all the way through, gears right there, chain, nothing in between posts here like my other engines that power the valves. It is a 100% accurate, well not really accurate, but it is a real, actual four cylinder overhead cam. Now since the lid here causes friction on the valves, I will be taking this off when I run it. It is not that exciting to see. Nothing like the one cylinder or the two cylinder doesn't run near as fast, but it's definitely cool because it is unique Not one not another engine like it There's four cylinder overhead valves, but not overhead cams like so It generally fires itself up. It runs at about an idle speed. Nothing exciting. I will now set it up The vacuum kind of sucks itself to the intake, so I don't really need to hold it and it should fire right up. Obviously it didn't, so we'll spin the flywheel. There we go. A pure overhead cam four cylinder. Again, nothing too exciting, but again, an otherwise a first of its kind engine. Uh, I've been getting comments about this engine recently on my channel. Someone noticed it, made mention about it, and other people have been saying, oh, when is it coming out? So, that's what inspired me to shoot this video today. And it actually, uh, I started recording a lot sooner than I thought, because this engine has sat for a couple months, and it ran that well when it was first finished. So, when it ran that well when I first fired it up after a couple months of sitting, I was surprised because my one cylinder had sat for a couple months and it would not fire up afterwards. I rebuilt the cylinders to which these match to it now, and it is now, and it ran fine. So, maybe it's a design, I don't know, but it runs great. I mean, I said I've been tinkering with it, trying to get it faster. I really haven't. I tried for a little bit. But there's not much I really can do. So for now, this is what you got. Maybe I'll try and upgrade its performance. Try and get better airflow. More sealed cylinders. Better valve timing. I mean, it's since it's a chain, chain camshaft, I can time it much more precisely than the likes of which the 1 and 2 cylinder. But, having gotten to it, I've been busy. I've been lazy. And sometimes just been both busy and lazy so here you guys go you finally got the engine that's been long awaited it's finished it runs I just gotta make it run a little bit better here you go guys the first of its kind as well as my knowledge proceeds
that it's a four-cylinder Lego vacuum engine overhead cam. First of its kind. I am actually surprised I was the first to do this. I actually had to order parts, these parts right here, and a couple of the inner cylinder, uh, cylinder walls, because I did not have them, because I burnt them up on the other vacuum engines. I am fortunate enough that I was able to get the parts and be the first to show you a overhead cam vacuum engine of this size. If I had the parts, I'd build bigger engines. I'd build inline six and a V8, but I don't have the parts and I probably don't have the patience. But otherwise, this is what you get. Once it runs a little bit better, a little bit faster, a little bit more powerful, I might hook up the three speed to see what it does. But right now, it just wouldn't. It does not have the power, as you can see. It can barely run itself. If I have the lid piece on right here, like it was on earlier, and I have it closed, it causes friction on the valves and it slows it down a lot. And the timing cover right here puts friction on the post, so I don't put that on. So it runs best in this form right here. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for finally getting me to get off my lazy butt and post this video. Because I've wanted to do it. I just haven't got the motivation to do it. It's like, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. But for a period, I actually forgot about it. I literally forgot about this engine. Here you go. It's here now. It's done. You guys see it. But maybe I just thought of something. It might run better if we take the police sticker off. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you guys later.